Speed Maths 8. Compound interest. Compound interest refers to interest calculated not only on the principal amount but also on any accumulated interest that has been earned on the principal. Compound interest is commonly used in banking and finance, and it can be found in a variety of financial products, including savings accounts, loans, and investments. Basics of compound interest. The principal, compound interest, and amount are the three main elements of compound interest. The relationship between the principal, compound interest, and amount can be expressed mathematically as the amount is equal to principal plus compound interest. Let us assume that the annual interest rate is 10% per annum. Using effective percentage calculation, we can find the CI for two years. The compound interest rate for 10% in two years is 21%. The compound interest rate for 10% in three years is 33.1%. Similarly, we can find the 20% and 30% interest rates per annum over two years and three years. For example, given the interest rate is 20%, which equals 1 divided by 5. We know from the compound interest formula the denominator value is principal and the numerator value is compound interest. Then the principal is 5 and the CI is 1. We can calculate the amount that is due at the end of one year. Using the formula, A is equal to 5 plus 1, which is 6. We can calculate the compound interest using the formula, CI equals the difference between the amount and the principal. Model 1. Time and rate. A given. Let's look at some examples to understand this concept. If the rate of interest equals 12.5% per annum, time equals 3 years, CI equals 1085 rupees. Then calculate the principal and amount in rupees. Given. The interest rate is 12.5%, which equals 1. Divided by 8. The principal in this example is 8. Add numerator and denominator values to get the amount, which is 9. The principal for 3 years is 8 cube, which equals 512. The amount for 3 years is 9 cube or 729. The compound interest is calculated by subtracting the principal from the amount, which is 217. We must determine how many times compound interest 217 equals 1085. The answer is 5 times. When we multiply 5 by 512, we get the required principal, which is 2560. Similarly, multiplying 5 by 729 gives us the required amount of 3645. Next example, if the rate of interest equals 16.2 by 3% per annum, time equals 3 years, principal equals 6480 rupees. Then calculate the compound interest and amount in rupees. Given, the interest rate is 16.2 by 3%, which equals 1 divided by 6. The principal in this example is 6. Add numerator and denominator values to get amount, which is 7. The principal for 3 years is 6 cube, which equals 216. The amount for 3 years is 7 cube or 343. The compound interest calculated by subtracting principal from amount, which is 127. We must determine how many times the principal 216 equals 6480. The answer is 30 times. When we multiply 30 by 127, we get the required compound interest, which is 3810. Similarly, multiplying 30 by 343 gives us the required amount of 10,290. Model 2. Time is given in months or days. If the rate of interest equals 20% per annum, time equals 1 year 73 days, C equals 1550 rupees. Then calculate the principal. Given, the interest rate is 20%, which equals 1 divided by 5. The principal in this example is 5. Add numerator and denominator values to get the amount, which is 6. Time 1 year 73 days can be represented as 1 plus 1 by 5. Compound interest is calculated as the sum of the principal value and amount for 73 days, which is 5 plus 6 by 5 or 31 by 5. The principal for 2 years is 5 square, which equals 25. We must determine how many times compound interest 31 by 5 equals 1550. The answer is 250 times. 
When, we multiply 250 by 25, we get the required principal, which is 6,250. Model 3. Interest is compounded yearly. A sum amount of 9,680 rupees in two years at 10% per annum compounded. Annually. Find the principal amount. We can solve this type of question in a smart way using effective percentage calculation. That is, x plus y plus xy by 100. 10 plus 10 plus 10 into 10. Divided by 100, the compound interest rate for 10% in two years is 21%. Assume that the principal is 100%. The compound interest is 21%. Then the amount should be 100. Percent plus 21% equals 121%. Based on the information given, we can set up two equations. If 121% equals 9680, then 100% equals x. We can solve for x by cross multiplying. Then the amount is 8000 rupees. Next example. Find the compound interest on 8000 rupees at 20% per annum for three years, compounded annually. To solve this problem, we can use effective percentage calculation. Given, the interest rate is 20% per annum. Using effective percentage formula, the compound interest rate for 20% in two years is 44%. For calculating net percent for three years, once again we use the effective percentage formula. That is 44 plus 20 plus 44 into 20 divided by 100. Therefore, the compound interest rate for 20% in three years is 72.8 percent assume that the principal is 100 percent the compound interest is 72.8 percent based on the information given we can set up two equations if 100 percent equals 8000 then 72.8 percent equals x we can solve for x by cross multiplying then the principal is 5824 rupees model 4 variable rate of compound interest Find the amount of 8,000 rupees for two years compounded annually and the rates being 9% per annum during the first year and 10% per annum during the second year. We can solve this type of question in a smart way using effective percentage calculation. That is, x plus y plus xy by 100. 9 plus 10 plus 9 into 10. Divided by 100, the compound interest rate in two years is 19.9%. Assume that the principal is 100%. The compound interest is 19.9%. Then the amount should be 100% plus 19.9% equals 119.9%. Based on the information given, we can set up two equations. If 100% equals 8000, then 119.9% equals x. We can solve for x by cross multiplying. Then the amount is 9,592 rupees. An amount of 10,000 rupees is taken as a loan by Rahul at compound interest of 5% per annum for first year, 10% for the second year, and 20% for the third year. What is the total interest to be paid by him? After three years, to solve this problem, we can use effective percentage calculation. That is 5 plus 10 plus 5 into 10 divided by 100. Then the compound interest rate in two years is 15.5 percent. For calculating net percent for three years, once again we use the effective percentage formula. That is 15.5 plus 20 plus 15.5 into 20 divided by 100. Therefore, the compound interest rate in three years is 38.6 percent. Assume that the principal is 100 percent. The compound interest is 38.6 percent. Based on the information given, we can set up two equations. If 100% equals 10,000, then 38.6% equals x. We can solve for x by cross multiplying. Then the principal is 3,860 rupees. Model 5. Interest is compounded half yearly or quarterly. For example, if rate equals 20% per annum, time equals 1.5 years, and Compound interest equals 6,620 rupees. Then calculate the principal and difference between compound interest and SI. Interest is compounded half yearly. In this case, we must understand that interest is compounded half yearly, which implies interest is compounded three times. As a result, we say 
the period is 3 years and then perform the calculation. Given, the interest rate is 10%, which equals 1 divided by 10. The principal in this example is 10. Add numerator and denominator, values to get the amount, which is 11. The principal for 3 years is 10 cube, which equals 1000. The amount for 3 years is 11 cube or 1331. The compound interest is calculated by subtracting the principal from the amount, which is 331. The difference between compound interest and simple interest is 10 plus 10 plus 11 equals 31. We know that the compound interest value is 331. We must determine how many times compound interest 331 equals 6620. The answer is 20 times. When we multiply 20 by 1000, we get the required principal, which is 20,000. Similarly, multiplying 20 by 31 gives us the required difference between compound interest and simple interest of 620. Model 6. Compound interest with growing principal. Example 1. A sum of money placed at compound interest doubles itself in 4 years in how many years will it amount to 8 times? Based on the information given, we can set up an equation. 2 power 1 by 4 is equal to 8 power 1 by t2. Simplifying this equation, we get the required time of 12 years. Second example, a sum of money, amount to 25,000 rupees in 6 years and 27,000 rupees in 7 years. Find the rate of interest. If the time is consecutive years, then we can solve this type of problem using the percentage change formula. That is percentage change is equal to the final value minus the initial value divided by the initial value into 100. The rate of interest is equal to 27,000 minus 25,000 divided by 25,000 into 100. The rate of interest is 8% per annum. Third example, a sum becomes 4,500 rupees in two years and 6,750 rupees in four years when compounded annually. Find the principal. In two years, a sum becomes 4,500 rupees. In four years, a sum becomes 4,500 into 4,500 rupees. In four years, a sum becomes 6,750 rupees when compounded annually. The ratio between the amount in four years gives us the principal. 4,500 into 4,500 divided by 6,750 is 3,000 rupees is the principal. Fourth example. The difference between compound interest and simple interest on a certain sum of money is 980 rupees. If the rate of interest is 7% per annum, and time equals 2 years, find the sum of money. We can solve this problem using the formula method. The principal is equal to the difference between C and SI into 100 square divided by the rate of interest square. Substituting the difference between C and SI and the rate of interest gives us the required principal, which is 200,000 rupees. Model 7. Difference of compound interest and simple interest. If rate equals 16.2 by 3% per annum, time equals 2 years. The difference between C and SI equals 40 rupees. Then calculate the C, principal, and amount. Given, the interest rate is 16.2 by 3%, which equals 1 divided by 6. The principal, in this example is 6. Add numerator and denominator values to get the amount, which is 7. The principal for 2 years is 6 square, which equals 36. The amount for 2 years is 7 square or 49. The compound interest is calculated by subtracting the principal from the amount, which is 13. By multiplying the difference between compound interest and simple interest value of 40 rupees into principal, amount, and compound interest values, we get the required answer. When we multiply 40 by 13, we get the required compound interest, which is 520. Similarly, multiplying 40 by 36 gives us the required principal of 1440. Multiplying 40 by 49 gives us the required amount of 1960. Next example, the difference between compound interest and SI for 3 years and 2 years is in the ratio of 19 to 6. What is the rate of interest? We can solve this problem using the shortcut trick. The interest rate plus 3 equals 19 by 6 into 100. To simplify this equation, the rate of 
Interest should be 16.2 by 3%. Model 8. Comparison of compound interest and simple interest. Find the compound interest at the rate of 7% per annum compounded annually for two years on the principle that yields a simple interest of 3,000 rupees for three years at 5% per annum. The rate of interest of 5% per annum simple interest for three years is 15%, which is equal to 3,000 rupees. The rate of interest of 7% per annum compounded for two years is 14. 0.49%, which is equal to x rupees. Based on the information given, we can set up two equations. If 15% equals 3000, then 14.49% equals x. We can solve for x by cross multiplying. Then the compound interest is 2898 rupees. Simple interest on a certain sum at a certain rate of interest is 700 rupees for three years and six months while compound interest on the same sum at the same rate of interest for two years is 425 rupees. Calculate the rate of interest. The simple interest for three years and six months is 700 rupees. The simple interest for one year becomes 200 rupees. The simple interest for two years is 400 rupees. The compound interest for two years is 425 rupees. The price difference between compound interest and simple interest is 25 rupees. Applying the rate of interest formula, the ratio between the difference between compound interest and simple interest and simple interest per annum multiplied by 100 is 12.5 percent. AJ invested a certain sum in scheme A.